This Sunday evening is devoted to the effect Diana had on all our lives. Psychologists and dream analysts examine the influence she continues to exert on many in I Dream of Diana. That's after this update from Charlie. It's just after 20 past five, I'm Charlie State. Tony Blair is in Northern Ireland tonight, pledging to defeat the criminals and psychopaths behind the OMA bombing atrocity. 28 people were killed, more than 200 injured. All day, the people of OMA, both Catholic and Protestant, were at prayer, mourning the victims. Fives Gita Gurumathi has been monitoring the weekend's tragic events. Sifting through the debris on a street of slaughter, Still closed off, the security forces trying to find what evidence they can. This is a mixed town, largely unscathed by the troubles till now. As people start to take in the full horror of what's hit them, everyone here knows someone who's suffered. This amateur video filmed just after the bomb went off reveals the pain and the panic. 28 people are now dead, among them three women from three generations of a single family, one of them pregnant. Also killed a baby girl. 200 more have been injured, now being treated in hospitals across Northern Ireland. Nine-year-old Stephen Coyle was airlifted from Oma to another hospital by the army. All he remembers was him being put up in the air and landing, and then uh, his father was crawling over towards him and he put his hand down in his lower chest and there was blood everywhere and he was very scared. In the desperate wait for news about loved ones, hundreds of people are gathering here, a leisure centre posting up names of the known injured. It's an exceedingly harrowing situation and uh, the distress of people is um, matched by their need for information. And here the political leaders have come too, Jerry Adams for the first time voicing his total rejection of what's thought to be the work of dissident Republicans. What happened here was wrong. I have condemned it without any equivocation whatsoever. It's, it's now time to show solidarity with the, the families of the bereaved, of the injured, of the people of this town, the people of County Tyrone. All of them want to see peace in Northern Ireland. There's nobody who doesn't want to see that except this minority group that want to do everything to thwart the will of the people of Northern Ireland to see peace here. Still numb, people have prayed together, wept together. The politicians tonight attempting to save a very fragile peace. Geeta Gurumurthy, Five News. Well, our reporter Sarah Smith has spent the day with the devastated community of Oma. Earlier, I asked her to sum up the atmosphere there. People are very shocked and deeply upset by what's happened. A few of them have been coming up here to the scene of the incident to have a look at what's happened, and they're clearly very moved by what they've seen. We've had some people bringing flowers already to the scene as well. People are finding it very difficult to believe that this could have happened in their town. Now, I understand that some people don't even know whether their relatives are alive or dead. Well, it seems there may be as many as 50 people who are missing and still unaccounted for. And the police say the majority of those are people who have probably just gone away for the night or the weekend and don't yet realise that they ought to phone home. And the situation is further complicated by the fact that possibly as many as 20 of the bodies haven't yet been identified by their families. Some of them so badly damaged, it's making that identification process very difficult. I heard one awful story of a man who was told his wife was dead, was taken to identify her body, and although he can't be sure, he's fairly certain it wasn't the body of his wife, which means he doesn't know what's happened to her. Families who have relatives missing have been gathering at the leisure centre, which has been turned into a makeshift incident centre. I went there this morning and it's very harrowing. There are long lists on the walls of the injured saying which hospitals they've been taken to. But people whose family members' names haven't yet appeared on this list just sit and have to wait for news. It's very quiet as they're absolutely dreading what they might hear. Before breaking off his holiday in France, Mr Blair pledged not to allow the terrorists to wreck peace in Northern Ireland. People who have perpetrated this deed will not win. They are not going to succeed. They are a small group of people, a tiny fanatical group of people. They have no political base, they have no votes, they have no support in Northern Ireland. They have just this capacity for evil. 
Just one other story before we go. The missing Welsh toddler Liam Evans was found alive today in a car alongside the body of his devoted grandfather, Gwilym Evans. That's it for now. We've got an update just before 7, and we'll be going live to Oma in our main evening news at 10 to 8. For now, though, bye-bye.